In the home stretch, that's where developers of a housing project say they are. Ground was broken, though, more than two years ago for the 58-unit Ruth Park building in Traverse City, with a projected completion of a year ago. It's not quite done, but developers say they can see that finish line. We never dreamed it would take this long. And Craig Patterson isn't alone on that. When ground was broken back in 2021 on Ruth Park in Traverse City, there were hopes that a year later, the 58-unit affordable housing project would be welcoming its first residents. Delayed, 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 and delayed. And that's why we are where we are today. Still not occupied. Two years after that groundbreaking, and the Up North Live newsroom is still getting letters like this, wondering how the project's coming and signed simply someone who wants a warm place. The building looks done, but the parking lot and the apartments inside are still empty. So what's to blame? We were shocked uh, that COVID kept lingering and lingering because it really hit the supply chain. That supply chain, and in particular, one critical piece of it. What really hurt us were the electrical switch gear or breakers. No available breakers meant no power. No power meant no heat, and no heat meant no residents. Well, the good news is um, about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, we sourced some components in Charlotte, North Carolina, that, we bat that were missing to complete the work to electrify the building. With the missing pieces of the puzzle in place, progress finally able to be made. By the end of the day, today, um, all our electrification will be complete. Hurdle cleared and the finish line finally in sight. In the next few days, our HVAC subcontractor will be in to hook up the furnaces. Um, there's some other electrical work that needs to be done and tested. We'll go through inspections with our architect. There's general cleanup that has to be done. And we think that we will be ready for a certificate of occupancy no later than December 29th. And Patterson says with that certificate of occupancy in hand, by the end of December, residents could start moving in very soon. The WODA group has two other buildings in Traverse City they're working on, Annika's Place and Annika's Place 2. They say they do not expect similar delays with those. For more information about the projects, you can go to our website, upnorthlive.com.